So now we're moving on to social studies. This has been an area of the curriculum that traditionally has been neglected in terms of technology. And it is a real shame because geography and history, social studies, do lend themselves really well to being taught through the medium of technology. So this is a map of Detroit, if anyone is interested. And going to the viewfinder within Easy Teach, you'll notice we've already discovered split screen when we were able to manipulate information from one side of the screen to the other. Storyboard, giving me a thumbnail view, an overview of my presentation. Normal, which is my teaching mode and the mode we are indeed in now. And glass mode. Glass mode allows me to extract information from my active desktop, Internet Explorer, CD-ROM, whatever it might be, and import it straight into EasyTeach. So it allows you to snag images from that desktop and bring them in to utilize and make more interactive. So let's go and select our geography toolbar from our toolbars menu at the bottom in the same way we've been doing with math and language arts. And what can I now do with this map? Well, let's think about the purpose of our lesson. It could be that we are analysing this, this map or this area according to the risk of flooding. It could be that we're looking at land use. I'm going to select the grid overlay tool within my geography toolbar. And what you'll notice is it opens out in exactly the same way as tools within my math toolbar or language arts toolbar, giving a consistent look and feel to the software, really helping in terms of the training, the implementation, the professional development side of things. So the common set of grids I can scroll through and according to grade level, I can drag and drop a grid that is suitable to fit that aerial photograph or that map, for instance. I can also go and customise my own. And in terms of the constructivism approach and how we like students to engage in the curriculum material very early on, when I train, I always talk to teachers about not just using these tools as creation tools, but as student tools, as that's a math skill in itself in order to be able to create a grid to fit that particular map. So I'm going to drag on the outer boundaries of that grid in order to fit that map or that photograph that we're looking at. And the focus of this lesson is on land use. Therefore, rather than simply annotating again on top of something, if that was the case, I may as well be using a mouse and you know, a blank, um, blank wall here and projecting onto it. So how can we convert this into an interactive activity? Well, if we're looking at land use, I can select my transparent grid fill and my fill colour palette from my main toolbar. You see how I'm using the two to really complement each other. At all times, I have my Easy Teach Starter 3.4 toolbar and my subject specific toolbar to really enhance the curriculum delivery of that particular subject that I'm teaching. So the students can select different fill colours to highlight each square according to how the land in that zip code is actually being used. So it could be that red is areas of industry, green, um, farmland, um, parks, blue, water. And we're able as a class bringing students out to the board and using their knowledge of the area to build up a visual representation of that zip code in a very collaborative and interactive way. We could have a key as well going on on the right hand side here. Moving on a step further, I can view the grid references. So I can click on a square to view that six figure grid reference. If it was younger students I was working with and I'd selected a grid just with one figure, that would be reflected on the grid reference reader. So again, that information can be copied and pasted to a key that also might exist on that page. But what about our younger audience? Well, I'm going to create a new page. And we know that this kind of technology works brilliantly with elementary students. So what better than giving them their own map builder palette to create their own map of an area or building up their own settlement site? So we can ask them to bring out school. Let me get rid of my fill color. Home and think about all of the roads 
and ways that they need to take in order to get to there? Are there any railways in the area? We can even go as far as to bring out parks, um, churches, line the road with trees. So if I move on and try and find my trees, there's our parks. There we go, we can bring out a park there. We can bring out the trees, really begin to think about what that area looks like. So rather than providing them with a pre-prepared map, allowing them to get really hands-on. And with a site license of EasyTeach, it allows the software to be installed, not just on the PC or Mac that's driving the interactive whiteboard or slate, but on every desktop, laptop in the school. So you can even take what we're doing from here and translate it onto that independent machine to allow independent work or group work. So once we've built up our map of the area using our map builder palette, I can again bring out a grid. And this time I'm going to bring out a blank grid. because so I want to get my students thinking about things like logo and about direction and control and what kind of language we need to use in that. And to help me do that, I'm going to first of all bring out a compass using my compass rose tool on my geography toolbar and select my navigator toolbar. It brings up a flashing green dot and I can set the green dot at home. I can even anchor that as home. And depending on the grade level of my students, I can begin to get them to program that journey according to instructions of left, right, up, down, northeast, southwest, and utilizing the compass rose in the corner there as well as a greater complexity to that compass rose. We can record the information as well. We can increase the trail distance and play it back. So imagine your students at the board having programmed their journey using the programming logo language. They can then present it to the class and talk them through it as their journey is animated.